Hello there, it's the Zodiac, and we're going to be starting Tactics Ogre today. And we're going to be speeding through this because we saw already, but yeah, Gaston won, which is really funny to me. And here are our results for the, uh, for, for the, the Six Fates. Honestly, the way the Six Fates turned out were pretty interesting. The only one I had to do a tiebreaker on was which path we're walking on, which I decided to do freedom. And, like, Mercy and... And, uh, and Wisdom, they extremely won. But yeah, let's begin the Ogre Battle. Saga, the Knight of Lotus. We're picking up right where we left off last time. We have actual music, I, I think. I would have to mute this still. That's a nice boat. If it seems like this is a little rushed, it's because it is. I have to babysit my cousin tomorrow. And I won't be there after- I won't be coming home after work, so that sucks. But yeah, let's focus on the game. Something's coming. Yep, we have immediately been attacked right when we make landfall. Welcome to Crime Island. Crime War Island. Our first foe, Stan. I forget what class Stan is, and I forgot the check. But it's not a big deal. Because, as you know, this is a tactics tactics game, so we're gonna be doing some tactics. I say that, but first, the everyone goes before you in this, so they can give you tutorial messages like that. It's a little silly, but it makes sense. Of course, he's an archer. He is a nice guy, I think. I don't remember. And he's not a very good archer. And the rest of our units, other than Rick and Gaston, are just generics. Because that's the type of game this is. I don't mind generic units, and I will be naming them, once I have the ability, after patrons and people watching. But yeah, now we finally got control of the game. So let's not actually do anything and instead learn the controls because I forgot them entirely. You can look at little help information on the tiles, but just mostly for flavor, though some of them is important. You can also see in the top right corner that they do stuff with the elements. They, they're just like tiny little bonuses, I don't know all the specifics at the moment. I have no idea what this means at all. It does sometimes. Yeah, and here's our menu. And we have to defeat Stan to win. And death of Gaston is how we lose. We got healing leaves. I don't quite know how the item list items work. But yeah, here is our big menu of people. Alright. Here's our Gaston. He's a soldier. He's level one. All these things mean stuff, and I'm going to be looking at them in a moment, as soon as I figure out the controls. Because it says you have to press the start button to access data, but the start button on my keyboard that I have set for start doesn't work. I don't know why that is. I'm going to be looking into it. But yeah, we're going to be looking at a lot of information in this episode, even though, like, that's just kind of the kind of the territory with games like this. Remember your original purpose. But hey, like, we we are water. I appreciate that because I put in my birthday for the for the birthday for our guest on here. We're also lawful. You guys picked pretty good, I think. 
I have no idea. Smokies are pretty good, but you want to not be in them forever, obviously. We'll, be, we'll talk about class changing much later. I prepared water for this, but I didn't let it get cold. That was a mistake. Shields are very important in this game for reasons that you will see later in this video for once. And that's, this is an important thing. Emblems. Emblems are like little achievements that you get per character. According to this, Gaston talked to someone into joining his side once. So he got a fancy little thing that makes it easier for him to do that. And here's a Richter, who's a good example of a higher level unit. He's got the transferring stone, which is basically just a teleport block. Anyone who has that probably won't permanently die. He's also got spells, lightning bow, and heal, which are not one of the four elements. They are a virtue. They are light flavored. He's also got a different emblem than us. I'll be putting information on the emblems in the thread. Also, the stand here has only two emblems. One that says he's good at treasure hunting, and one that says he's bad at everything else. I don't remember what Don Quixote does, but it's bad. And of course, all of his regular soldiers have nothing on them, basically. This lady has a bow. I didn't notice that. And of course, none of the actual people of Orson matters, but I don't believe the generics in this fight matter. They're just guests to show you how the game works. And like, Justin is wind, I believe, because it's that little, uh, V. Yeah, enough with that. It's, of all also, there is the pumpkin tip. I will be releasing an extra video with this first one that just goes through all of those, so I don't have to say anything about them. I feel that's fair. I don't know what these shortcuts mean at all. I would definitely not mind being told because I don't have the instruction book for this. Yeah, let's get a move on. By having Gaston move over here, there's really little we can do at the start of the game, because all we have is a sword. And yet we do have a shield, which we can attack with. That's interesting. I'll let you think on that for a bit, as I let the entire enemy and ally team go next. Uh, this, is, this is funny to me, for reasons. I'm not going to tell you them yet, anyway. I don't believe it's possible to lose this fight, though it is a little tricky. That said, all we have to do is ensure that Stan dies and we'll be fine. But keeping our buddy guest on the line might be a little tricky given we don't have much resources. I do love the animation in this, they're really good. Speaking of animations, you will notice that Stan here does a little bit of a wind up. If you're using a clash, uh, if you're using a class that has a specific weapon that they use, then you'll do a little flourish when you attack. It's pretty cool. You can see that Orson had a little thing like that as well when he used his bow. And magic is, of course, really good. Though it's only single target for now. As you get smarter, you get more area of effect with your spells, which is an interesting mechanic. 
we won't have to worry about spell casters for a bit, at any rate. It takes a while to build them up. From what I remember of an LP I watched a billion years ago, which is where all my information comes from, because I've never played this game before. Remember, teamwork is important. Let us cling together. <laughs> I'm just kidding, that game sucks. Was that too rude? I don't, I don't know. I'm not good at that judging these things. Yeah, I'm going to have Gaston stay here for no reason. I do appreciate that the archer decided to shoot Rick instead. Unfortunate for me. Oh well. I there is a reason why I am a little bummed out the soldier did that, but we'll see in just a second. After Gaston murders this man. Uh that's so much damage. Don't get stabbed in the back. Yeah, after Rick does some um, wandering around, it's I'm gonna show you off something that I really like about this game. As soon as it's my turn. Once we are in charge of our own army, it's going to be a lot better a game, for sure. For right now, this is just watching. I'm a viewer as much as you are at this point. Don't you dare kill him. Then he lives. So, here's a cool thing. You can attack with shields. I mentioned that before, but why would you want to? They do so little damage. Well, if you hit with your shield, bonk, they bonk, they get pushed one square. This is good for a variety of reasons. One of which, as you just saw, we can knock someone off the edge. When I first played this, uh, I knocked Stan off the edge and he died, and that was super cool. He, he didn't this time, which sucks. But yeah. That is something you can do in this game, and that's really good. It's just something that I really like. The other reason why it's good is that enemies that are pushed into walls take extra damage. Speaking of extra damage, we're about to take an axe in the head. Ow. But hey, it is our turn again, and we're probably going to be able to beat Stan. Assuming our allies actually focus on him like they said they would. Like they said we should. I love the little sound when I die. It's so, so silly sounding. But yeah, when the unit dies, they'll leave behind a bag of loot. You can pick it up immediately to get what is in it immediately, or you can wait until the end of battle, which is very good. Making sure that you get the reward that you get when the battle ends, even if you don't physically touch it, is a really, really good game design thing. And that guy died. So we're gonna have two items, plus whatever a uh, scan gives us when I kill him right now. And that's a big stand. It's also a lot of experience. Reward is no money and a cup of life, which is pretty good, I think. A leather hat, which is fine. And stands out the friend, the Francisca. It will probably never be used. That seems a little ridiculous. 
but it's not impossible, I imagine. Hmm, that sounds like a setup to me, personally. I genuinely don't remember. I don't remember anything about this plot except for the, the main, main thing. Which we will talk about later. I say that a lot. shot and and knocked into the ocean I suppose that's not good well that's a foreboding beginning isn't it of course, there's still a little bit more. Looks like we've washed up on shore, outside of some house. A little girl has found us. I don't think she's actually a little girl. She is a girl, not little. I'm surprised Gaston is doing so well given he got shot by a crossbow. Mostly correct. But hey, just a, a casual note. Ogre Battle does have monsters in it. They're called demi humans, and they're pretty cool. Mostly. I like mermaids a lot, as you may recall. Speaking of people I like, look at this lady. Obama. She's a soldier for those guys that are our enemies, I think. Ten years ago, which means she's at least 30. It's not often you find an older lady in a fantasy game like this, which I think is really cool. I forget how old she actually is, though. We'll find out. At least we have a friend. And with with luck, she will bring us to the rest of our friends, and we can actually continue with whatever her job here is meant to be. I suppose be that the people who used to be her friends. Welcome to the world map. Though it's less of a world map and more of an island map. This is the big crime island that we do all our fighting on. Our first destination is Skabellum. But our goal is... Well, I'm not actually sure. 
And then my video, I mean, my audio editor crashed, and I lost my ending, so I have to re-record it. Oops. So yeah, this is the island that we're going to be dealing with. Now let's save our game. <laughs> Oopsies. We, uh, I forgot to use the right save file type for the emulator, so I'm going to have to play the entire opening again. Don't worry, I'll make sure everything is the same. So yeah, that has been the episode. I will see you Monday.